twinkle, twinkle, lovely star. With your talent, you'll go far. Where can I find you? Tell me, pray. I'm on the air for RCA. <laughs> RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show. <laughs> Here is the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, transcribed, written by Ed James and Al Schwartz, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, and yours truly, Bill Foreman. Tonight's minor masterpiece is entitled The Chaperones, or Plug the Hole in the Silo, Father, the Corn is Leaking Out. <laughs> First, here's a word from RCA Victor. of the RCA Victor program, Alice Faye and Bill Harris. <laughs> it's evening in the Harris household. Of course, it's evening in a lot of other places, too, but it's still evening in the Harris household. At the moment, everything is peaceful and calm, but it won't stay that way for long. Elliot is waiting in the den, and Phil, a happy little chappy, is about to burst into song. Again? <laughs> All I want for Christmas is some black-eyed peas, some black-eyed peas, yes, yeah, some black-eyed peas. All I want for Christmas is some black-eyed peas and maybe some chocolate-covered chitlins. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is some southern ham oh, with a candied yam, but leave off the spam. Oh, hi, Elliot. <laughs> Pool room closed already? <laughs> Hello, Curly Wow, what's the matter? You look like a hard night in Las Vegas <laughs> Curly, I'm in no mood for levity What? No jokes, please I got troubles Somebody unloaded your dice, huh? <laughs> That's right, laugh at me Julius La Rosa never had a problem like mine <laughs> But don't let that bother you Go ahead, laugh Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't kidding, are you? Would I kid about a thing like this? It's all over, Curly. I'm finished. Washed up. You got married? <laughs> Worse. You know that old routine we used to do with the Dixieland doozies? You mean, uh, who was that ladle I seen you with last night? That was no ladle, that was my knife? <laughs> that one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Elliot. Don't worry, will you? Nobody's gonna hold that against you. No, please. you don't understand. I got paid 20 bucks to do the routine at a club. Oh, and Jack Webb's gonna slap you with a 419. <laughs> a what? 419. Taking money under false pretenses. <laughs> Nobody slapped me with anything. I haven't even done the act yet. Then stop worrying. Then stop worrying, he said. I can't do the act without a partner, can I? And I can't get a partner. Any place. Uh-uh. I see what's coming. Oh, Curly, look, you know the routine. Elliot, don't start with me But it'd now. be so easy. We wouldn't even have to rehearse. You know the whole bit. Elliot, I ain't doing no cornball routine. I'm getting too old to duck. <laughs> you don't have to duck. We do it in back of a screen. Elliot, in two words, no. <laughs> my friend, my pal, I ask him to do one little favor. Look, I ain't gonna do it. Ten minutes, that's all it'll take, the whole thing. I ain't gonna do it. Okay, ain't gonna do it. Let them throw me in jail. What do you care? They won't throw you in any jail. Curly, I took the money. I'll wind up in the clink. You won't wind up in the clink. Not if I can help it. You do the act with me? Uh. <laughs> when do they allow visitors? <laughs> oh, big joke. I'm heading for the rock pile. He makes jokes. Elliot, the whole thing is so simple. Give him back the 20 bucks. Give it back? Sure. Tell him you got a better offer from Molotov's Hawaiian Gardens. <laughs> Curly, uh, you see, uh, I met this jockey. Tilt. <laughs> but it was a sure thing. Bourbon boy. <laughs> How'd he finish? Fifth. <laughs> Maybe he needed a chaser. 
Hey, Curly. Look, look, look. You don't have to worry. If you haven't got the 20 bucks, I'll lend it to you. But, Curly, I'll I... give it to you. It'd be worth 20 bucks to stay away from that corny routine we used to do. Gee. Thanks, Curly. You know, Curly, you're like a mother to me. <laughs> All right, Clyde, don't let these curls fool you, huh? <laughs> Oh, uh, we're in here in the den, honey. Hey, Curly, you won't forget about the 20 bucks. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Stop worrying. Phil, Phil, do you want to see something adorable? You got a new picture of me? <laughs> no, Phil, it's little Alice. Come on in, Angel. Okay, Mom. Look, honey, Elliot and I have a little business to... What are you supposed to be? She's Madame Pompadour. Oh, oh. Dig the wig, man. Crazy. <laughs> They don't like Oh, it. sure we do, honey. It's just, well, ain't it a little late to go trick-or-treating? <laughs> now, look, it isn't for Halloween, Phil. Little Alice is going to a masquerade dance with Sniffy. Oh, she is. Is she? Hey, look, Curly, give me the 20 bucks and I can go Now, wait a minute. I got to take care of this first. Who said that she could go to a dance? Phil, you're not going to start that again, are you? Why not? She's as much my daughter as she is yours. Hey, Curly, just give me the 20 bucks and I... I wouldn't care if she was 16 or, 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 or 15, but she's only 14. She's a baby. She's an infant. She's... She's wearing lipstick again. Uh, Curly, if you don't have a 20, maybe two tens. Uh, I don't know why you're so upset. You can hardly notice it. Hardly notice it. She looks like a side order of ketchup. But, Dad, it's the latest thing. Riding Hood Red. Oh, fine. Now she carries her own wolf bait. <laughs> Maybe four fives, Curly? Elliot. <laughs> 2,000 pennies? Phil, I don't understand. You've always wanted little Alice to know the right people. Sure, and who does she pick out? Sniffy. A post-nasal drip. <laughs> Help it, Dad. He's allergic. Allergic? He sounds like Niagara Falls with a slow leak. <laughs> oh, now look, Phil, he's a very nice boy. And besides, he's taking her to the finest country club in Los Angeles. I wouldn't care if he was take. Lakeside? Exactly. Lakeside. No kidding. Gosh, Curly, you've been trying to crash that joint for oh, 10 never years. Mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> you know, honey, uh... Maybe I have been a little too strict with little Alice. Oh, Dad! It might be a good idea if she went. Properly chaperoned, of course. <laughs> now you're talking, Curly. After all, I am her father, and even though it's going to cut in on my evening, a father's first duty is to his child. It isn't that I want to go to Lakeside. <laughs> Why not? It'd be a great place to go, Curly. Phil, you can't go to Lakeside. It's, it's a costume party. Okay, I'll put on my good suit and go as a bum. <laughs> no, you don't have to worry about costumes, Curly. I got the outfits from the act. We can go as the cornball, brother. Hey, that's right, Alice. We'll wear those loud coats and the straw hats and we'll... Wait a minute, Roy. Hold it. What do you mean, we can go? We? You and me? Uh, well, you and I? Us? <laughs> I thought you were in such a hurry to pay back the 20 bucks. What happened with that? Oh, there's no big rush. Then what was this routine? Four fives, 2,000 pennies. Well, I... I was figuring my income for next year. <laughs> 2,000 pennies? I'm expecting a good year. Dad, I don't need a chaperone. Really, I don't. Don't be ridiculous. Every girl needs a chaperone. But they'll have a dozen chaperones at the dance. They won't need you. Oh, they won't, huh? Well, let me put it this way, little Alice. What's coming up next week? Christmas. Okay. What do we have on Christmas? A Christmas tree. What goes under the Christmas tree? Presents. And who gives you the best presents? You do. Then uh, who's going to be your chaperone tonight? <laughs> we don't need a chaperone. This kid ain't too bright. <laughs> You might as well face it. If you want to go to the dance, you've got a chaperone. Gee whiz. What am I going to tell Sniffy? Oh, I don't know. You'd better think of something fast. Let Sniffy in, Phil. How do you know it's Sniffy? The doorbell just waved a handkerchief. Oh. <laughs> Phil, 
let him in. Okay, okay, I'll let him in. Sniffy. Well, maybe it's my fault. I take a nip, she comes up with a drip. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Hello, Sniffy. Park your nose drops and come in. <laughs> Beautiful night, isn't it? It's the only snorkel I've ever seen without a supper. Hello, Sniffy. Hello, Mrs. Harris. Hello, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Hi, Sniffy, old kid. Hello, Sniffy. Hello, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look now, but you just inhaled your necktie. <laughs> I don't have a necktie, Mr. Harris. Indians never wear neckties. You're supposed to be an Indian? Naturally, Curly. He's a member of the Blackfoot tribe. How do you know? Well, just look at his... <laughs> Pardon me, those are his galoshes. <laughs> oh, great, an Indian with galoshes. Oh, I think you look very nice, Sniffy. Thank you, Mrs. Harris. Of Hiawatha. <laughs> Sounds more like Chief Rain in the face. <laughs> Mother will never get to the dance. Well, let's go. I'm ready. Uh, uh, Sniffy, uh, uh, Sniffy, uh, there's been a slight change in plans. Uh, Mr. Harris is going with you. As a chaperone. Oh, that'll be great fun. <laughs> well, Phil, if you're going, you and Elliot better get into your costume. All right, honey. Mr. Lewis, too? I'm going to umpire on the bases. <laughs> All right, come on, Elliot. Where'd you leave the cornball costumes? They're in my suitcase in the hall. Well, let's get them and put them on. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, Professor, let's have the overture. Mother, do they have to go? No, I'm, I'm afraid so, dear. Gosh, he went to the movies with us once. And he kept talking to the people in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they were probably friends of his. Mother... Don't worry, honey. Now, I'll come along later to make sure your father doesn't get in anybody's way. You will? Mm -hmm. Gee, that'll be great, Mrs. Harris. Do you have a costume? Uh, uh oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll whip something up. But when? As soon as I finish my number, okay? They warned me when you kissed me, your love would ricochet. Your lips would find another And your heart would go astray I thought that I could hold you With all my many charms But then one day you ricochet To someone else's arms And baby, I don't want a ricochet romance I don't want a ricochet love If you're careless with your kisses Find another to love I can't live on ricochet romance No, no, not me if you're gonna ricochet, baby, I'm gonna set you free. I knew the day I met you, you had a roving eye. I thought that I could hold you. What a fool I was to try. You promised you'd be faithful and you would never stray. Then like a rifle bullet, began to ricochet and baby i don't want a ricochet romance i don't want a ricochet love if you're careless with your kisses find another turtle dove i can't live on ricochet romance no no not me if you're gonna ricochet baby i'm gonna set you free when we announced our wedding mighty proud I whisper to us company and you prefer to crowd you buzzed around the other girls just like a busy bee and when you finish buzzing cousin you buzz right back to me and, and baby I don't want a ricochet romance I don't want a ricochet love if you're careless with your kisses find another turtle dove I can't Lakeside Country Club. I finally made it. I'm actually here. A classy looking dump, ain't it? <laughs> dump? Are you kidding? 
This is the richest dive in the whole country. You see that swimming pool? Solid gold. And look at that welcome mat. Solid mink. <laughs> the grass don't look so hot. Grass? What's the matter? You nuts or something? They don't use grass. What's all that green stuff? What is it? Shredded money. <laughs> oh. Well, hand me a niblick and stand back. All right. <laughs> Now, cut it out. Don't you understand? Dad. Mr. Harris, we got the car parked. <laughs> <laughs> then stop blowing your horn. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Let's get inside. Come on, Elliot. Oh, Dad, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, Alice. Elliot, where are you? Just a second, Curly. Gosh, Mr. Harris, why is Mr. Lewis spelling the Lord? Elliot, for crying out loud. Hey, Curly, you know that grass? What about it? That's grass. <laughs> Elliot, you're going to get me kicked out of the place before I even get in. But you said it was... Never you. mind what I said. Crawling around on your hands and knees. What are you looking for? A gopher with a deposit slip. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, will you please try to act like a gentleman? How I do that? Well, uh... <laughs> uh didn't you ever hear of Emily Post? I didn't know she was a gentleman. Look. <laughs> now, just watch anybody that you see around here. That's all you have to do. Just watch anybody that you see around here and then do just what they do. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not sniffy. Sir? I was talking to Elliot. Oh. Now, Elliot, will you please keep one thing in mind? This is the finest club in the entire country. The people who belong to this club are the cream of society. They don't let just anybody in here. You gotta be a captain of industry, a financial giant. You gotta have background and breeding. You gotta have culture. You gotta have a ticket too, Eagle Beak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, death in the afternoon. Hey, Julius, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Me father's a member. <laughs> Cream of society, huh, Curly? Well, maybe it curdled a little. <laughs> on the edge. Captains of industry, background and breeding. What's the matter with me breeding? You've been doing it too long. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> okay, wise guys, just for that, you don't get in. Oh, get out of the way, you little crumb. Stop these this. Nobody sets a foot across these sacred portals without and they got a ticket. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Julius, I have a ticket. And I'm with him. Okay, you can go in. So long, Mr. Harris. See you later, Dad. Alice, come back here. Alice! I have to help Sniffy with his galoshes. Now, look, Julius... If you ain't got a ticket, don't even talk to me! Julius, you don't understand. We're chaperones. Chaperones? You couldn't chaperone Whistler's mother and old man River. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't chaperone a pilgrim into the Mayflower donut shop. <laughs> Shall I continue? <laughs> oh, no, no. I think you've gone far enough. Say, Julius. You may not know this, but one of my ancestors shot arrows at John Alden. So what? One of my ancestors cooked spaghetti for Columbus. <laughs> yeah, his Aunt Nina cooked pizza on the Santa Maria. Yeah, okay. Fellas, <laughs> will you please move over? You're blocking traffic. Now, wait a minute, Julius. Let's make a deal. I'll buy a couple of tickets. Are you kidding? This shindig is restricted to the upper set. Who's throwing the party, Dr. Cowan? <laughs> Look, you little fink, if you don't let us in, you'll be collecting tickets at the pearly gates. Well, that's one place you don't have to worry about. <laughs> Good night, Riff Raff. <laughs> Julius. Hey, Julius. Julius. Open up, you little creep. Julius. How you like that? Slam the door right in our faces. Next time I see that little punk, I'll conk his quince. <laughs> what you worried, Curly? You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. 
Oh, fine. What are we, chaperones or taxidermists? <laughs> Curly, just remember, stone walls do not a prison make nor iron bars a case. So what? We don't want to get out. We want to get in. Okay. What's wrong with the window? Where? Over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on. <laughs> we'll show that Julius, huh, Curly? Show him. We'll get in there and clobber him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here's a good window. Come on. I'll give you a boost. A boost? Yeah. Me? Yeah. What's the matter? You nuts or something? <laughs> no, I ain't nuts or something. That window's high. Okay, okay, so it's high. Stand back and watch a super athlete leap into action. You mean you're gonna jump it? Watch me. But Curly, you Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you should have opened the window first. <laughs> it was open. Oh? Nervous sound man, huh? <laughs> All right, Elliot, come on, get in here, will you? Okay, okay. So I'm in. Uh-oh, we better get out of here. What's the matter? We're in the ladies' powder room. <laughs> well, straighten your shoulder straps and let's go. <laughs> come on, here's the door, Curly. All right. Go ahead, open it up. Okay, Curly, come on out. Hello, boys. <laughs> you are boys, aren't you? <laughs> Why, uh, naturally, I, uh, uh, I got a Boy Scout knife, see? Why, Mr. Harris. You're pulling my leg. <laughs> oh, I... I thought I was closing the door. <laughs> hey, Curly. Come on, close it and let's get going. Okay. Look, Miss, uh, uh Madam, uh, uh, honey, I... Hey, Curly! Uh, that's Julius's aunt. You remember the one who owns the brewery? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, Clara. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I keep turning up like uh, a bad penny. I don't know. When I went to school, Lincoln never looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> don't make sense, Curly. She owns a brewery and has a shape like a bottle of Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says the sweetest thing. <laughs> Gee, Clara, you sure look pretty in that dress and, and everything. <laughs> oh, it's just something I threw on. I've got news for you. It almost missed. <laughs> hey, uh, Clara, uh, I was just thinking... Um, is the brewery in your name or your husband? It's in my name, Elliot. Everything's in my name. Uh, Clara, how do you feel about bigamy? Elliot! I was only asking. Uh-oh. Uh, say, Curly, there's one thing I ought to tell you. Like what? Mr. Lewis, I'm so happy that you and your partner could make it. Partner? Elliot, you mean this is where you booked the act? Now, Curly, if you don't let me explain... I don't want no explanation. Now, look, lady. Lady. Oh, isn't he quaint? Now, lady, <laughs> I want you to listen to me now. My friend shouldn't have taken the 20 clams because he had no straight man. And I ain't playing straight for no cornball. So take back your double saw buck and skip the whole routine. Oh, uh, really? Curly, she don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do, Mr. Lewis. But there are certain extenuating circumstances which preclude the possibility of cancellation at this belated hour. Now, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> it's very simple, Mr. Whatever your name is. You go on in five minutes. But, lady, if you'll only listen. You go on in five minutes, George. <laughs> Hep kid, huh, Curly? Clara. Yes, Curly. <laughs> 
Will you step back a little? Because when I get through tearing Elliot into small pieces... You stay right where you are, Clara. Don't move. Not just a minute, Clara. Elliot, will you stand still so I can slug Don't you? Don't swing, just... Curly. You'll hit Clara. You wouldn't hit a lady, would you? Boys, please, you'll tear my dress. Elliot, you're a coward. Yeah, but a healthy coward. Curly, be real. <laughs> Boys, you're mussing my bustle. When I get hold of you, Elliot, but I'm going to... I can gonna... explain it, Curly, if you'd only listen to me. I am not going to... Well... <laughs> Hey, Alice, make him listen to me. Honey, I... What are you playing? Ring around the chaperone? <laughs> Just a minute, Alice. I can explain everything. Well, well, you'd better start. Hello, Mrs. Harris. You got here just in time. <laughs> you can say that again. All right. Hello, Mrs. Harris. You... No, no! <laughs> Oh, Clara, Alice, now, will you please listen to me? Why should she? Did you listen to me? You keep out of this. Now, look, Alice, this banjo picker told him that I'd do that corny act with him, and I... I'm... You, 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 you mean this is part of the act? No, I... Of course I... it is, Alice, of course it is. That's what we were doing, rehearsing the act. Weren't we, Curly? What act? You never... Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we were doing, rehearsing the act. With Clara? Sure. We were just going over her line. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, sir. And, uh... <laughs> See, it's part of the act, honey. We were teaching Clara the routine. <laughs> You're in the act, ain't you, Clara? I am. Listen to that timing, Alice. Ain't that terrific? <laughs> she'll murder the people. Oh, she'll pulverize them. Well, I've got news for you. I'll be in the audience, and if Clara isn't in the act, somebody's going to be pulverized. <laughs> Gentlemen, I know you're going to be surprised by what we have in store for you. The next item on the agenda was procured at great expense to provide the ultimate in entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Succotash brothers and Clara. <laughs> By the light Dig that crazy little light Of the silver moon Oh, dig that moon I want a spoon Oh, dig that spoon To my honey I'll prune Love's tone Sissy boom Honey I love that honey honey moon Keep a shining in June I love that June Your silvery beams Will bring love's dreams We'll be cuddling soon In a kettle of <laughs> Say, Curly What is it, Elliot? I understand you're going out with a girl named Lorna Dune Well, you're close I'm going out with her sister Nothing Dune <laughs> Oh, goody, keep an eye on your garter They're snapping them tonight <laughs> Hey, Curly do you know what a wave is? Oh, sure. A wave is a girl in the Navy. And how about a whack? Well, that'd be a girl in the Army. Okay, then what's a wok? A wok? I don't know, Elliot. What is a wok? Well, that's easy, Curly. A wok is what you flow at Wabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Shave the fuzz off that one, Dad. You came up with a peach. <laughs> Say, Curly. All in a minute, I'm just doing what they call a back evermore with a double pitch. <laughs> Now, what's on your mind? I understand you made a big hit kissing the girls. I did, huh? How do you know? I just passed a couple of Corrines, and one of them said, there goes Phil Harris. Boy, what a kisser. <laughs> Stick that one in a bottle, son. It's a corker. <laughs> your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddle on soon. Cuddle closer to me, babe. By, by the, the silvery, silvery moon. moon. That's well, Alice, what'd you think? I don't know. Do you feel all right? <laughs> I feel great. Why? <laughs> Well, this is the first time in your whole life you've ever told me the truth. Honey, I always tell you the truth. If I don't, may the building collapse. 
All right, Phil, Phil, stop holding onto the wall. Just want to make sure. <laughs> hey, Curly. Over here, Elliot. Hey, Curly, if I got great news for you, you know who is in the audience? Abe Firstfogel. <laughs> no. Yes. And he's booked us for a week at Lowe's Pismo Bee. Oh, God. <laughs> 